Psalm 76 To the chief musician or Naginot, the psalm or song of Esau. In Judah is God known, his name is great in Israel. In Salem also is his tabernacle and his dwelling place in Zion. There break he the arrows of the bow, the shield and the sword of the battle, Selah. The art more glorious and excellent than the mountains of prey. The stout-hearted are spoiled, they have slept their sleeve, and none of the men of might have found their hands. At their rebuke, O God of Jacob, both the chariot and horse are cast into a deep sleep. Thou, even thou, art to be feared, and who may stand in thy side when once thou art angry? Thou didst cause judgment to be heard from heaven. The earth feared and was still when God arose to judgment to save all the meek of the earth. Selah. Surely the wrath of man shall praise thee, the remainder of wrath shall thou restrain. Vow and pay unto the Lord your God. Let all that be round about him bring presents unto him that ought to be feared. He shall cut off the spirit of princes. He is terrible to the kings of the earth. Psalm 77 To the chief musician, to Jeduthun, a psalm of Esau. I cried unto God with my voice, even unto God with my voice, and he gave ear unto me. In the day of my trouble I sought the Lord. My soul ran in the night and ceased not. My soul refused to be comforted. I remembered God and was troubled. I complained and my spirit was overwhelmed. Selah the holdest mine eyes making, I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I have considered the days of old, the years of ancient times. I call to remembrance my song in the night. I commune with my own heart, and my spirit made diligent search. Will the Lord cast off forever, or will he be favorable no more? Is his mercy clean gone forever? Doth his promise fail forevermore? Hath God forgotten to be gracious? Had he in anger shut up his tender mercies, Selah. And I said, This is my infirmity, but I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember thy wonders of old. I will meditate also of all thy work and talk of thy doings. Thy way, O God, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great a God as our God? Thou art the God that doest wonders. Thou hast declared thy strength among the people. Thou hast with thy arm redeemed thy people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. Selah. The waters saw thee, O God, the waters saw thee. They were afraid, the depths also were troubled. The clouds poured out water, the skies sent out a sound. Thine arrows also went abroad. The voice of thy thunder was in the heaven. The lightnings lightened the world, the earth trembled and shook. Thy way is in the sea, and thy path in the great waters, and thy footsteps are not known. Thou ledest thy people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Psalm 78 Must she love Esau? Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter those sayings of old, which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. We will not hide them from their children, showing to the generation to come the praises of the Lord and His strength and His wonderful works that He had done. For He established a testimony in Jacob, and appointed a law in Israel, which He commanded our fathers, that they should make them known to their children that the generation to come might know them, even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children, that they might set their hope in God, and not forget the works of God, but keep His commandments, and might not be as their fathers a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that set not their heart aright, and whose spirit was not steadfast with God. The children of Ephraim, being armed and carrying bows, turned back in the day of battle. They kept not the covenant of God, and refused to walk in His law, and forget His works and His wonders that He had shewed them. Marvelous things did He in the sight of their fathers, in the land of Egypt, in the field of Zoan. 
He divided the sea and caused them to pass through, and he made the waters to stand as in him. In the daytime also he led them with a cloud, and all the night with a light of fire. He clave the rocks in the wilderness, and gave them drink as out of the great depths. He brought streams also out of the rock, and caused waters to run down like rivers. And they sinned yet more against him by provoking the Most High in the wilderness. And they tempted God in their heart by asking meat for the lust. Yea, they spake against God. They said, Can God furnish a table in the wilderness? Behold, he smote the rock, that the waters gushed out, and the streams overflowed. Can he give bread also? Can he provide flesh for his people? Therefore the Lord heard this, and was wroth. So a fire was kindled against Jacob, and anger also came up against Israel, because they believed not in God, and trusted not in his salvation. Though he had commanded the clouds from above, and opened the doors of heaven, and had rained down manna upon them to eat, and had given them of the corn of heaven, man did eat angels' food, he sent them meat to the full. He caused an east wind to blow in the heaven, and by his power he brought in the south wind. He rained flesh also upon them as dust, and feathered fowls like as the sand of the sea, and he let it fall in the midst of their camp, round about their habitations. So they did eat, and were well filled, for he gave them their own desire. They were not estranged from their lust, but while their meat was yet in their mouths, the breath of God came upon them, and slew the fattest of them, and smote down the chosen men of Israel. For all this they sinned still, and believed not for his wondrous works. Therefore their days did he consume in vanity, and their years in trouble. When he slew them, then they sought him, and they returned and inquired yearly after God. And they remembered that God was their rock, and the high God their Redeemer. Nevertheless, they did flatter him with their mouth, and they lied unto him with their tongues. For their heart was not right with him, neither were they steadfast in his covenant. But he, being full of compassion, forgave their iniquity, and destroyed them not. Yea, many a time turned he his anger away, and did not stir up all his wrath. For he remembered that they were but flesh, a wind that passeth away, and cometh not again. How oft did they provoke him in the wilderness, and grieve him in the desert? Yea, they turned back and tempted God, and limited the Holy One of Israel. They remembered not his hand, nor the day when he delivered them from the enemy. How he had brought his signs in Egypt, and his wonders in the field of Zohar, and had turned the rivers into blood, and their floods that they could not drain. He sent diverse sorts of flies among them, which devoured them and frogs which destroyed them. He gave also their increase unto the caterpillar, and their labor unto the locust. He destroyed their vines with hail, and their sycamore trees with frost. He gave up their cattle also to the hail, and their flocks to hot thunderbolts. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath and indignation, and trouble by sending evil angels among them. He made a way to his anger, he spared not their soul from death, but gave their life over to the pestilence, and smote all the firstborn in Egypt, the chief of their strength in the tabernacles of Ham, but made his own people to go forth like sheep, and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. And he led them on safely, so that they feared not, but the sea overwhelmed their enemies. And he brought them to the border of his sanctuary, even to this mountain, which his right hand had purchased. He cast up the heathen also before them, and divided them an inheritance by line, and made the tribes of Israel to dwell in their trance. Yet they tempted and provoked the Most High God, and kept not his testimonies, but turned back and dealt unfaithfully like their fathers. They were turned aside like a deceitful bow. For they provoked him to anger with their high places, and moved him to jealousy with their graven images. When God heard this, he was wroth and greatly abhorred Israel, so that he forsook the tabernacle of Shiloh, the tent which he placed among men, and delivered his tent into captivity, 
and his glory into the enemy's hand. He gave his people over also unto the sword, and was wroth with his inheritance. The fire consumed their young men, and their maidens were not given to marriage. Their priest fell by the sword, and their widows made no lamentation. Then the Lord awaked as one out of sleep, and like a mighty man that shouted by reason of wine, and he smote his enemies in the hinder parts. He put them to a perpetual reproach. Moreover, he refused the tabernacle of Joseph, and chose not the tribe of Ephraim, but chose the tribe of Judah, the Mount Zion, which he loved. And he built his sanctuary like high palaces, like the earth which he had established forever. He chose David also his servant, and took him from the sheep force. From following the ewes, great with young, he brought him to feed Jacob, his people, and Israel his inheritance. So he fed them according to the integrity of his heart, and guided them by the skillfulness of his hands. Psalm 79, the Psalm of Esau. O God, the heathen are come into thine inheritance. Thy holy temple have they defiled. They have laid Jerusalem on heaps. The dead bodies of thy servants have they given to be meat unto the fowls of the heaven, the flesh of thy saints unto the beast of the earth. Their blood have they shed like water round about Jerusalem, and there was none to bury them. We are become a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and derision to them that are round about us. How long, Lord, wilt thou be angry forever? Shall the jealousy burn like fire? Pour out thy wrath upon the heathen that have not known thee, and upon the kingdoms that have not called upon thy name. For they have devoured Jacob, and laid waste his dwelling place. O remember not against us for our iniquities. Let thy tender mercies speedily prevent us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God of our salvation, for the glory of thy name and deliver us, and purge away our sins, for thy name's sake. Wherefore should the heathen say, Where is their God? Let him be known among the heathen in our sight, by the revenging of the blood of the servants which is shed. Let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee. According to the greatness of thy power, preserve those that are appointed to die, and render unto our neighbors sevenfold into their bosom their reproach, wherewith they have reproached thee, O Lord. So we thy people and sheep of the pasture will give thee thanks forever. We will sheep forth a praise to all generations. Psalm 80 To the chief musician upon Shoshani Medud, a psalm of Asab. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, thou that leadest Joseph like a flock, thou that dwellest between the cherubims, shine forth. Before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh, Stir up thy strength, and come and save us. Turn us again, O God, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long wilt thou be angry against the prayer of thy people? Thou feedest them with the bread of tears, and givest them tears to drink in great measure. Thou makest us a strife unto our neighbors, and our enemies laugh among themselves. Turn us again, O God of hosts, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. Thou hast brought your wine out of Egypt, thou hast cast out the heathen and planted it. Thou preparest room before it, and didst cause it to take deep root, and it filled the land. The hills were covered with the shadow of it, and the boughs thereof were like the goodly cedars. She sent out her boughs unto the sea, and her branches unto the river. Why has so then broken down her hedges, so that all they which pass by the way do pluck her? The boar out of the wood doth waste it, and the wild beast of the field doth devour it. Return, we beseech thee, O God of hosts, look down from heaven, and behold, and visit this vine, and the vineyard which thy right hand hath planted, and the brine that thou made us strong for thyself. It is burned with fire, it is cut down. They perish at the rebuke of their countenance. Let thy hand be upon the man of the right hand, upon the son of man whom thou madest strong for thyself. So will not we go back from thee, quicken us, and we will call upon thy name. Turn us again, O Lord God of hosts, cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. Psalm 81 To the chief musician upon Gidit, a psalm of Esau. 
Sing aloud unto God our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. Take a psalm and bring hither the trumpet, the pleasant harp with the psaltery. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon in the time appointed on our solemn feast day. For this was a statute for Israel and a law of the God of Jacob. This he ordained in Joseph for a testimony when he went out through the land of Egypt where I had a language that I understood not. I removed his shoulder from the burden. His hands were delivered from the pots. Thou callest in trouble, and I delivered thee. I answered thee in the secret place of thunder. I proved thee at the waters of Meribah, Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will testify unto thee, O Israel, if thou wilt hearken unto me. There shall no strange God be in thee, neither shalt thou worship any strange God. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. But my people would not hearken to my voice, and Israel would none of me. So I gave them up unto their own heart's lust, and they walked in their own counsels. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways. I should soon have subdued their enemies, and turned my hand against their adversaries. The haters of the Lord should have submitted themselves unto him, but their time should have ended forever. He should have fed them also with the finest of the weed, and with honey out of the rock should I have satisfied thee. Psalm 82, a psalm of Aesop. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judges among the gods. How long will he judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Selah. Defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. I have said, Your gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. Psalm 83, a song or psalm of Esau. Keep not thou silence, O God, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the herd. They have taken crafty counsel against the people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of the Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one concern, they are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites, of Moab and the Hagarines, Gabal and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre, Ashur also is joined with them. They have holpen the children of Lot, Selah. Do unto them as unto Midianites, as to Sisera, as to Jabin at the brook of Kison, which perished at the Endor. They became as dung for the earth. Make their nobles like Oreb and like Ziv. Yea, all their princes as Zeba and as Zalmuna, who said, Let us take to ourselves the houses of God in possession. O oh my God, make them like a wheel, as a stubble before the wind, as a fire burned the wood. And as the flame set the mountains on fire, so persecute them with their tempest, and make them afraid with their storm. Fill their faces with shame, that they may seek the name, O Lord. Let them be confounded and troubled forever. Yea, let them be put to shame and perish, that men may know that thou whose name alone is Jehovah art the Most High over all the earth. Psalm 84 To the chief musician upon Giddith, a psalm for the sons of Korah. How amiable are the tabernacles, O Lord of hosts! My soul longeth, yea, even fainteth for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh crieth out for the living God. Yea, the sparrow hath found an house, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young, even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, they will be still praising thee, Selah. 
Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, in whose heart are the ways of them, who passing through the valley of Becca make it a well. The rain also filleth the pools. They go from strength to strength, every one of them in Zion appeareth before God. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob, Selah. Behold, O God, our shield, and look up on the face of thine anointer. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusted in thee. Psalm 85 To the chief musician, a psalm for the sons of Korah. Lord, thou hast been favorable unto thy land. Thou hast brought back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquity of the people. Thou hast covered all their sin. Selah. Thou hast taken away all their wrath. Thou hast turned thyself from the fierceness of thy anger. Turn us, O God of our salvation, and cause thy anger toward us to cease. Will thou be angry with us forever? Will thou drought thine anger to all generations? Will thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? Show us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. I will hear what God the Lord will speak. For he will speak peace unto his people and to all his saints. But let them not turn again to folly. Surely his salvation is nigh them that fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Yea, the Lord shall give that which is good, and our land shall yield her increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set us in the way of his steps. Psalm 86 A Prayer of David Bow down the near, O Lord, hear me. For I am poor and needy, preserve my soul, for I am holy. O thou my God, save the servant that trusted in thee. Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. Rejoice the soul of the servant, for unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive, and plunders in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer, and attend to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. Among the gods there is none like unto thee, O Lord, neither are there any works like unto thy works. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great and doest wondrous things, thou art God alone. Teach me thy way, O Lord, I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. I will praise thee, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forevermore. For great is thy mercy toward me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. O God, the proud men are risen against me, and the assemblies of violent men have sought after my soul, and have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and truth. O turn unto me and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant and save the son of thy handmaid. Show me a token for good that they which hate me may see it and be ashamed, because thou, Lord, hast holpen me and comforted me. Psalm 87, a psalm or song for the sons of Korah. His foundation is in the holy mountains. The Lord loveth the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of the O city of God, Selah. I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon to them that know me. Behold, Philistia and Tyre with Ethiopia, this man was born there. And of Zion it shall be said, this and that man was born in her, and the highest himself shall establish her. The Lord shall count when he writeth up the people that this man was born there, Selah. As well the singers as the players and instruments shall be there, 
all my springs are in thee. Psalm 88 A song or psalm for the sons of Korah to the chief musician upon Mahalat Leonot, Maskil of Hamor the Israelite. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Incline thine ear unto my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh unto the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am as a man that hath no strength, free among the dead, like the slain that lay in the grave, whom the rumbarest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the deeps. Thy breath lieth hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves. Selah. Thou hast put away mine acquaintance far from me. Thou hast made me an abomination unto them. I am shut up, and I cannot come forth. Mine eye mourneth by reason of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Wilt thou shew wonders to the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise thee? Selah. Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave, or thy faithfulness in destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in the dark, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer prevent thee. Lord, why castest thou off my soul? Why hidest thou thy face from me? I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up. While I suffer the terrors, I am distracted. The first wrath goeth over me. Thy terrors have cut me off. They came round about me daily like water. They canvassed me about together. Lover and friend has to put far from me and my acquaintance into darkness. Psalm 89 Maskil of Ethan the Israelite I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. For I have said, Mercy shall be built up forever. Thy faithfulness shall thou establish in the very heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen, I have sworn unto David my servant. Thy seed will I establish forever, and build up thy throne to all generations. Selah. And the heavens shall praise thy wonders, O Lord, thy faithfulness also in the congregation of the saints. For who in the heaven can be compared unto the Lord? Who among the sons of the mighty can be likened unto the Lord? God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints, and to be heard in reverence of all of them that are about him. O Lord God of hosts, who is a strong Lord like unto thee, or to thy faithfulness round about thee? Thou rulest the raging of the sea, when the waves thereof arise, thou stillest them. Thou hast broken Rahab in pieces, as one that is slain. Thou hast scattered the enemies with a strong arm. The heavens are thine, the earth also is thine. As for the world and the fullness thereof, thou hast founded them. The north and the south, thou hast created them. Tabor and Hermon shall rejoice in thy name. Thou hast a mighty arm. Strong is thy hand, and high is thy right hand. Justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne. Mercy and truth shall go before thy face. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of thy countenance. In thy name shall they rejoice all the day, and in thy righteousness shall they be exalted. For thou art the glory of thy strength, and in thy favor our horn shall be exalted. For the Lord is our defense, and the Holy One of Israel is our King. Then the speakers in vision to the Holy One, and says, I have laid help upon one that is mighty. I have exalted one chosen out of the people. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him, with whom my hand shall be established. Mine arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not exert upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. And I will beat down his foes before his face, and plague them that hate him. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and in my name shall his horn be exalted. I will set his hand also in the sea, and his right hand in the rivers. He shall cry unto me, Thou art my father, my God, and the rock of his salvation. Also, I will make him my firstborn, 
higher than the kings of the earth. My mercy will I keep for him forevermore, and my covenant shall stand fast with him. His seed also will I make to end it forever, and his throne as the days of heaven. If his children forsake my law, and walk not in my judgments, if they break my statutes and keep not my commandments, then will I visit their transgression with the rod, and their iniquity with stripes. Nevertheless, my loving kindness will I not utterly take from him, nor suffer my faithfulness to fail. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. Once have I sworn by my holiness that I will not lie unto David. His seed shall endure forever, and his throne as a sun before me. It shall be established forever as the moon, and as a faithful witness in heaven. Selah. But thou hast cast off and abhorred, thou hast been brought within anointed. Thou hast made void the covenant of the servant, thou hast profaned his crown by casting it to the ground. Thou hast broken down all his surges, thou hast brought his strongholds to ruin. All that pass by the way spoil him, he is a reproach to his neighbors. Thou hast set up the right hand of his adversaries, thou hast made all his enemies to rejoice. Thou hast also turned the edge of his sword, and hast not made him to stand in the battle. Thou hast made his glory to cease, and cast his throne down to the ground. The days of his youth hast thou shortened. Thou hast covered him with shame. Selah. How long, Lord, wilt thou hide thyself forever? Shall thy wrath burn like fire? Remember how short my time is. Wherefore hast thou made all men in vain? What man is he that liveth and shall not see death? Shall he deliver his soul from the hand of the grave? Selah. Lord, where are the former loving kindnesses which thou swearest unto David in thy truth? Remember, Lord, the reproach of these servants. How do I bear in my bosom the reproach of the mighty people? Where will the enemies have reproached, O Lord? Where will they have reproached the footsteps of the anointed? Blessed be the Lord forevermore. Amen and Amen. Psalm 90 A Prayer of Moses, the Man of God Lord, Thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever Thou hadst formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, Thou art God. Thou turnest man to destruction, and sayest, Return, ye children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them away as with a flood, they are as a slave. In the morning they are like grass which groweth up. In the morning it flourisheth and groweth up. In the evening it is cut down and withereth. For we are consumed by thine anger, and by thy wrath we are troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are three score years and ten. And if by reason of strength they be four score years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow. For it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger? Even according to their fear, so is their wrath. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long, and let it repent thee concerning the servants. O satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us, and the years wherein we have seen evil. Let thy work appear unto thy servants, and thy glory unto their children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us, and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands establish thou it. Psalm 91 He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. 
Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, not for the arrow that fleeth by day, not for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, not for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shall thou tremble under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him, and shew him my salvation. Psalm 92 A psalm or song for the Sabbath day. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord, and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High, to shew forth thy loving kindness in the morning, and thy faithfulness every night, upon an instrument of ten strings, and upon the psaltery, upon the harp with a solemn sound. For the Lord has made me glad through thy work, I will triumph in the works of thy hands. O Lord, how great are thy works, and thy thoughts are very deep. A brutish man knoweth not, neither doth a fool understand this, when the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever, but thou, Lord, art most high forevermore. Follow thine enemies, O Lord, follow thine enemies shall perish, all the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Mine eye also shall see my desire on mine enemies, and mine ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. The writers shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing, to shew that the Lord is upright, He is my rock, and there is no uprightness in Him. Psalm 93 The Lord reigneth, He is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength, wherewith He hath girded Himself. The world also is established, that it cannot be moved. Thy throne is established of all. Thou art from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord, the floods have lifted up their voice, the floods lift up their waves. The Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters, yea, than the mighty waves of the sea. Thy testimonies are very sure. Holiness became thine house, O Lord, forever. Psalm 94 O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, shew thyself. Lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth, render a reward to the proud. Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall they utter and speak hard things, and all the workers of iniquity boast themselves? They break in pieces thy people, O Lord, and afflict thine heritage. They slay the widow and the stranger, and murder the fatherless. Yet they say, The Lord shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Understand, ye brutes among the people, and ye fools, when will ye be wise? He that planted the ear, shall he not hear? He that formed the eye, shall he not see? He that chastises the heathen, shall not he correct? He that teacheth man knowledge, shall not he know? The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man, that they are vanity. Blessed is the man whom thou chastenest, O Lord, and teachest him out of the law, that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity, until the pit be digged for the wicked. For the Lord will not cast up his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. But judgment shall return unto righteousness, 
and all the upright in heart shall follow it. Who will rise up for me against the evil doers, or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. When I said, My foot slippeth, thy mercy, O Lord, help me up. In the multitude of thy thoughts within me, thy comforts delight my soul. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by law? They gathered themselves together against the soul of the unrighteous, and condemned the innocent blood. But the Lord is my defense, and my God is the rock of my refuge. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity, and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea, the Lord our God shall cut them off. Psalm 95 O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if he will hear his voice, Harden not your heart, as in the provocation, as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my work. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their heart, and they have not known my ways, and to whom I swore in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Psalm 96 O oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, sing unto the Lord all the earth, sing unto the Lord, bless his name, shew forth his salvation from day to day, declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised, he is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him, strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto the Lord, O ye kindreds of the people, give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. The world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Let the heavens rejoice, and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar, and the fullness thereof. Let the field be joyful, and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the world rejoice before the Lord. For he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness, and the people with his truth. Psalm 97 The Lord reigneth, let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of isles be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. A fire goeth before him, and burneth up his enemies round about. His lightnings enlighten the world. The earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. Confounded be all they that serve graven images, that boast themselves of idols. Worship him, all ye gods. Zion heard, and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of thy judgments, O Lord. For thou, Lord, art high above all the earth, thou art exalted far above all gods. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Psalm 98 Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, for he hath done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm hath gotten him the victory. The Lord hath made known his salvation. 
His righteousness hath he openly shewed in the sight of the heathen. He hath remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord all the earth. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. Sing unto the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a song. With the trumpets and sound of cornet, make a joyful noise before the Lord the King. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Let the floods clap their hands, let the hills be joyful together before the Lord. For he cometh to judge the earth, with righteousness shall he judge the world, and the people with equity. Psalm 99 The Lord reigneth, let the people tremble, he sitteth between the cherubims, let the earth be moved. The Lord is great in Zion, and he is high above all the people. Let them praise the great and terrible name, for it is holy. The king's strength also loveth judgment, thou dost establish equity, thou executest judgment and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt ye the Lord our God, and worship at his footstool. For he is holy. Moses and Aaron among his priests, and Samuel among them that call upon his name. They called upon the Lord, and he answered them. He spake unto them in the cloudy pillar. They kept his testimonies and the ordinance that he gave them. Thou answerest them, O Lord our God. Thou wast a God that forgavest them. Thou, thou tookest vengeance of their inventions. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy hill, for the Lord our God is holy. Psalm 100 A Psalm of Praise Make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Psalm 101 A Psalm of David I will sing of mercy and judgment. Unto thee, O Lord, will I sing. I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. O, oh, when wilt thou come unto me? I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. A forward heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person. Whoso privily slandereth his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him that hath an high look and a proud heart will not I suffer. Mine eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me. He that walketh in a perfect way, he shall serve me. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. I will early destroy all the wicked of the land, that I may cut off all wicked doers from the city of the Lord. Psalm 102 a prayer of the afflicted, when he is overwhelmed and poureth out his complaint before the Lord. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come unto thee. Hide not thy face from me in the day when I am in trouble. Incline thine ear unto me. In the day when I call, answer me speedily. For my days are consumed like smoke, and my bones are burnt as an hearth. My heart is smitten and withered like grass, so that I forget to eat my bread. By reason of the voice of my groaning, my bones cleave to my skin. I am like a pelican of the wilderness. I am like an owl of the desert. I watch and am as a sparrow alone upon the housetop. My enemies reproach me all the day, and they that are mad against me are sworn against me. For I have eaten ashes like bread, and mingled my drink with weeping because of their indignation and their wrath. For thou hast lifted me up and cast me down. My days are like a shadow that declineth, and I am withered like grass. But thou, O Lord, shalt endure forever, and thy remembrance unto all generations. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion, for the time to favor her, yea, the set time is come. 
For these servants take pleasure in restaurants and favor the dust thereof. So the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth thy glory. When the Lord shall build up Zion, he shall appear in his glory. He will regard the prayer of the destitute and not despise their prayer. This shall be returned for the generation to come, and the people which shall be created shall praise the Lord. For he hath looked down from the height of his sanctuary. From heaven did the Lord behold the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoner, to loose those that are appointed to death, to declare the name of the Lord in Zion, and his praise in Jerusalem, when the people are gathered together, and the kingdoms to serve the Lord. He weakened my strength in the way, he shortened my days. I said, O my God, take me not away in the midst of my days. Thy years are throughout all generations. Of old hast thou laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of thy hands. They shall perish, but thou shalt endure. Yea, all of them shall wax old like a garment. As a vesture shalt thou change them, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years shall have no end. The children of thy servants shall continue, and the seed shall be established before thee. Psalm 103, a psalm of David. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all the iniquities, who healeth all the diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that the youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excellent strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his host, ye ministers of his, that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Psalm 104 Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, thou art very great, thou art clothed with honor and majesty, who covereth thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain, who laid the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who maketh his angel spirits, his ministers a flaming fire, who laid the foundations of the earth, that it should not be removed forever. Thou coverest it with the deep as with a garment, the waters stood above the mountains. At their rebuke they fled, at the voice of the thunder they hasted away. They go up by the mountains, they go down by the valleys unto the place which thou hast founded for them. Thou hast set a bound that they may not pass over, that they turn not again to cover the earth. He sendeth the springs into the valleys which run among the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field, the wild asses quench their thirst. By them shall the fowls of the heaven have their habitation, which sing among the branches. He watereth the hills from his chambers, the earth is satisfied with the fruit of their works. 
he causeth the grass to grow for the cattle and herb for the service of man that he may bring forth fruit out of the earth and wine that maketh glad the heart of man and oil to make his face to shine and bread which strengtheneth man's heart the trees of the lord are full of sap the cedars of lebanon which he hath planted where the birds make their nests as for the stock the fir trees are her house the high hills are a refuge for the wild goats and the rocks for the conies he appointed the moon for seasons the sun knoweth is going down thou makest darkness and it is night wherein all the beasts of forest do creep forth the young lions roar after their prey and seek their meat from god the sun ariseth they gather themselves together and lay them down in their dens man goeth forth and do his work and do his labor until the evening o lord how manifold are thy works in wisdom hast thou made them all the earth is full of the riches so is his great and wide sea wherein are things creeping innumerable both small and great beasts there go the ships there is that leviathan whom thou hast made to play therein this wait all upon thee that thou mayest give them their meat in due season that thou givest them they gather thou openest thine hand they are filled with gold thou hidest their face they are troubled thou takest away their breath they die and return to their dust thou sendest forth thy spirit they are created and thou renewest the face of the earth the glory of the lord shall endure forever the lord shall rejoice in his works he looketh on the earth and it trembleth he touches the hills and they smoke i will sing unto the lord as long as i live i will sing praise to my god while i have my being my meditation of him shall be sweet i will be glad in the lord let the sinners be consumed out of the earth and let the wicked be no more bless the lord o my soul praise the lord psalm 105 Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, call upon His name, make known His deeds among the people. Sing unto Him, sing psalms unto Him, talk ye of all His wondrous works. Glory ye in His holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and His strength, seek His face evermore. Remember His marvelous works that He hath done, His wonders and the judgments of His mouth. O oh, ye seed of Abraham his servant, ye children of Jacob his chosen. He is the Lord our God, his judgments are in all the earth. He hath remembered his covenant forever, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac, and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying, And to thee will I give the land of Canaan, the Lord of your inheritance, when there were but a few men in number, yea, very few, and strangers in it. When they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong, yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Moreover, he called for a famine upon the land, he break the whole staff of bread he sent a man before them even joseph who was sold for a servant whose feet they hurt with fetters he was laid in iron until the time that his word came the word of the lord tried him the king sent and loosed him even the ruler of the people and let him go free he made him lord of his house and ruler of all his substance to bind his princes at this pleasure and teach his senators wisdom. Israel also came into Egypt, and Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham, and he increased his people greatly, and made them stronger than the enemies. He turned their heart to hate his people, to deal subtly with his servants. He sent Moses his servant, and Aaron whom he had chosen. They shewed his signs among them, and wonders in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and made it dark, and they rebelled not against his word. He turned their waters into blood, and slew their fish. Their land brought forth frogs in abundance in the chambers of their kings. He spake, and there came diverse sorts of flies, and lice in all their coasts. He gave them hail for rain, 
and flaming fire in their land. He smote their vines also and their fig trees and break the trees of their course. He spake and the locusts came and caterpillars and that without number and did eat up all the herbs in their land and devour the fruits of their ground. He smote also all the firstborn in their land, the chief of all this strength. He brought them forth also with silver and gold, and there was not one feeble person among their tribes. Egypt was glad when they departed, for the fear of them fell upon them. He spread a cloud for a covering, and fire to give light in the night. The people asked, and he brought coils, and satisfied them with the bread of heaven. He opened the rock, and the waters gushed out. They ran in the dry places like a river, for he remembered his holy promise, and Abraham his servant. And he brought forth his people with joy, and his chosen with gladness, and gave them the lands of the heathen, and they inherited the labor of the people, that they might observe his statutes and keep his laws. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 106 Praise ye the Lord. O give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can shew forth all his praise? Blessed are they that keep judgment, and he that doeth righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people. O visit me with thy salvation, that I may see the good of thy chosen, that I may rejoice in the gladness of thy nations, that I may glory with thine inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers, we have committed iniquity, we have done wickedly. Our fathers understood not thy wonders in Egypt. They remember not the multitude of their mercies, but provoked him at the sea, even at the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power to be known. He rebuked the Red Sea also, and it was dried up. So he led them through the depths as through the wilderness, and he saved them from the hand of him that hated them, and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. And the waters covered their enemies, there was not one of them left. Then believed they his words, they sang his praise. They soon forgot his words, they waited not for his counsel, but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness, and tempted God in the desert. And he gave them their request, but sent leanness into their soul. They envied Moses also in the camp, and Aaron the saint of the Lord. The earth opened and swallowed up Dathan, and covered the company of Abiram. And a fire was kindled in their company, the flame burned up the wicked. They made a calf in Horeb, and worshipped the molten image. Thus they changed their glory into the similitude of an ox that eateth grass. They forget God the Saviour, which had done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham, and terrible things by the Red Sea. Therefore he said that he would destroy them, had not Moses his chosen stood before him in the bridge to turn away his wrath, lest he should destroy them. Yea, they despised the pleasant land, they believed not his word, but murmured in their turns, and hearkened not unto the voice of the Lord. Therefore he lifted up his hand against them, to overthrow them in the wilderness, to overthrow their seed also among the nations, and to scatter them in the lands. They joined themselves also unto Baal Peor, and ate the sacrifices of the dead. Thus they provoked him to anger with their inventions, and the plague breaking upon them. Then stood up Phinehas, and executed judgment, and so the plague was stayed. And that was counted unto him for righteousness unto all generations forevermore. They angered him also at the waters of strife, so that it went ill with Moses for their sakes, because they broke his spirit, so that he spake unadvisedly with his lips. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. And they served the idols, which were a snare unto them. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils, and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with blood. Thus were they defiled with their own works, and went a whoring with their own inventions. 
Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people in so much that he abhorred his own inheritance and he gave them into the hand of the heathen and they that hated them ruled over them their enemies also oppressed them and they were brought into subjection under their hand many times did he deliver them but they provoked him with their counsel and were brought low for their iniquity nevertheless he regarded their affliction when he heard their cry and he remembered for them his covenant and repented according to the multitude of his mercies he made them also to be pitied of all those that carried them captives save us o lord our god and gather us from among the heathen to give thanks unto thy holy name and to triumph in thy praise blessed be the lord god of israel from everlasting to everlasting and let all the people say amen praise ye the lord Psalm 107 O give thanks unto the Lord for he is good for his mercy endureth forever let the redeemed of the Lord say so whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy and gathered them out of the lands from the east and from the west from the north and from the south they wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way they found no city to dwell in hungry and thirsty their soul fainted in them Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble and he delivered them out of their distresses and he led them forth by the right way that they might go to a city of habitation oh that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men for he satisfied the longing soul and filled the hungry soul with goodness such as sit to darkness and in the shadow of death being bound in affliction and iron because they rebelled against the words of God and condemned the counsel of the most high therefore he brought on their heart with labor they fell down and there was none to help then they cried unto the lord in their trouble and he saved them out of their distresses he brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and break their bands in sunder oh that men would praise the lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men for he hath broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder fools because of their transgression and because of their iniquities are afflicted their soul abhorreth all manner of meat and they draw near unto the gates of death then they cry unto the lord in their trouble and he saveth them out of their distresses he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their distresses Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men and let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing they that go down to the sea in ships that do business in great waters they see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep for he commanded and raised the stormy wind which lifted up the waves thereof They mount up to the heaven, they go down again to the depths. Their soul is melted because of trouble. They reel to and fro, and stagger like a drunken man, and are at their wit's end. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he bringeth them out of their distresses. He maketh the storm a calm, so that the waves thereof are still. Then are they glad, because they be quiet. So he bringeth them, and do they descend heaven. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him also in the congregation of the people and praise him in the assembly of the elders. He turneth rivers into a wilderness and the water springs into a dry ground. A fruitful land into barrenness for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. He turneth the wilderness into a standing water and dry ground into water springs. And there he maketh the hungry to dwell, that they may prepare a city for habitation, and sow the fields, and plant vineyards, which may yield fruits of increase. He blesseth them also, so that they are multiplied greatly, and suffereth not their cattle to decrease. Again they are minished and brought low through oppression, affliction, and sorrow. He poureth contempt upon princes, and causeth them to wander in the wilderness, where there is no way. Yet setteth he the poor on high from affliction, and maketh him families like a flock. The righteous shall see it and rejoice, and all iniquities shall stuff her mouth. 
Whoso is wise and will observe these things, even they shall understand the loving kindness of the Lord. Psalm 108 A Song or Psalm of David O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise even with my glory. Awake psaltery and horror, I myself will awake early. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people, and I will sing praises unto thee among the nations. For thy mercy is great above the heavens, and thy truth reacheth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens, and thy glory above all the earth, that thy beloved may be delivered. Say with the right hand and answer me. God has spoken in His holiness. I will rejoice, I will divide Shechem and meet out the valley of Sakod. Gilead is mine, Manasseh is mine, Ephraim also is a strand of men herd, Judah is my lawgiver, Moab is my washboard, over Edom will I cast out my shoe, over Philistia will I triumph. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Will not the O God who has cast us off, and will not the O God go forth with our host, give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man, through God we shall do valiantly, for he it is that that shall tread down our enemies. Psalm 109 To the chief musician, a psalm of David Hold not thy peace, O God of my prize. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They canvassed me about also with words of hatred, and fought against me without a cause. For my love they are my adversaries, but I give myself unto prayer. And they have rewarded me evil for good, and hatred for my love. Said though a wicked man over him, and let Satan stand at his right hand. When he shall be judged, let him be condemned, and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few, and let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless, and his wife a widow. Let his children be continually vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places. Let the extortioner catch all that he had, and let the stranger spoil his labor. Let there be none to extend mercy unto him. Neither let there be any to favor his fatherless children. Let his posterity be cut off, and in the generation following, let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered with the Lord, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be before the Lord continually, that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth, because that he remembered not to shew mercy, but persecuted the poor and needy man, that he might even slay the broken in heart. As he loved cursing, so let it come unto him. As he delighted not in blessing, so let it be far from him. As he clothed himself with cursing, like as with his garment, so let it come into his bowels like water, and like oil into his bones. Let it be unto him as a garment which covereth him, and for a girdle wherewith he is girded continually. Let this be the reward of my adversaries from the Lord, and of them that speak evil against my soul. But do thou for me, O God, the Lord, for thy name's sake, because thy mercy is good, deliver thou me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. I am gone like the shadow when it declineth. I am tossed up and down as the locust. My knees are weak through fasting, and my flesh faileth of fatness. I became also a reproach unto them. When they looked upon me, they shake their heads. Help me, O Lord my God, O save me according to thy mercy, that they may know that this is thy hand, that thou, Lord, hast done it. Let them curse, but bless thou. When they arise, let them be ashamed, but let thy servant rejoice. Let mine adversaries be clothed with shame and let them cover themselves with their own confusion as with their mantle. I will greatly praise the Lord with my mouth, yea, I will praise him among the multitude. But he shall stand at the right hand of the poor to save him from those that condemn his soul. Psalm 110 A Psalm of David The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand, until I make thine enemies thy footstool. 
the Lord shall set the rod of his strength out of Zion, rule though in the midst of thine enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of the poor, in the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of the youth. The Lord hath sworn and will not repent, thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the heathen, he shall fill the places with the dead bodies. He shall wound the heads over many countries. He shall bring up the brook in the way, therefore shall he lift up the head. Psalm 111 Praise ye the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, sought out of all them that have pleasure therein. His work is honorable and glorious, and his righteousness endureth forever. He hath made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He hath given meat unto them that fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. He hath shewed his people the power of his works, that he may give them the heritage of the heathen. The works of his hands are verity and judgment. All his commandments are sure. They stand fast for ever and ever, and are done in truth and uprightness. He sent redemption unto his people. He hath commanded his covenant forever. Holy and reverent is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. Psalm 112 Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighteth greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endureth forever. And to the upright there ariseth light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. A good man sheeth favor and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established, he shall not be afraid until he see his desire upon his enemies. He hath dispersed, he hath given to the poor, his righteousness endureth forever, his horn shall be exalted with honor. The wicked shall see it and be grieved, he shall gnash with his teeth and melt away, the desire of the wicked shall perish. Psalm 113 Praise ye the Lord, praise O ye servants of the Lord, praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun and to the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations and His glory above the heavens. Who is like unto the Lord our God, who dwelleth on high, who humbleth himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust and lifteth the needy out of the dunghill, that he may set him with princes, even with the princes of his people. He maketh the barren woman to keep house and to be a joyful mother of children. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 114 When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange language, Judah was his sanctuary and Israel his dominion. The sea saw it and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains skipped like rams and the little hills like lambs. What ail thee, O thou sea, that thou fleddest, thou Jordan, that thou was driven back? Ye mountains, that ye skipped like rams and ye little hills like lambs, tremble thou earth at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, which turned the rock into a standing water, the flint into a fountain of waters. Psalm 115 Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory, for thy mercy, and for thy truth's sake. Wherefore should the heathen say, Where is now their God? But our God is in the heavens. He hath done whatsoever he hath pleased. Their idols are silver and gold, 
the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses have they, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither speak they through their throat. They that make them are like unto them, so is everyone that trusteth in them. O Israel, trust thou in the Lord, he is their help and their shield. O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord, he is their help and their shield. Ye that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord, he is their help and their shield. The Lord hath been mindful of us, he will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel, he will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great. The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. Ye are blessed of the Lord, which made heaven and earth. The heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's, but the earth hath he given to the children of men. The dead praise not the Lord, neither any that go down into silence. But we will bless the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 116 I love the Lord because He hath heard my voice and my supplications. Because He hath inclined His ear unto me, therefore will I call upon Him as long as I live. The sorrows of death compassed me, and the pains of hell get hold upon me. I found trouble and sorrow. Then call I right upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord, and righteous. Yea, our God is merciful. The Lord preserveth the simple. I was brought low, and he helped me. Return unto thy rest, O my soul, for the Lord hath dealt bountifully with thee. For thou hast delivered my soul from death, mine eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believe, therefore have I spoken. I was greatly afflicted. I said in my haste, All men are liars. What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits toward me? I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. O Lord, truly I am thy servant. I am thy servant and the son of thy handmaid, thou hast loosed my bonds. I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of thee, O Jerusalem. Praise thee the Lord. Psalm 117 O praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye people. For his merciful kindness is great toward us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 118 O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, because his mercy endureth forever. Let Israel now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let them now that fear the Lord say that his mercy endureth forever. I called upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord is on my side, I will not fear. What can man do unto me? The Lord taketh part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All nations canvass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. They canvass me about, yea, they canvass me about. But in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They canvass me about like bees. They are quenched as a fire of thorns. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Thou hast thrust sore at me that I might fall. But the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and song, and is become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord hath chastened me sore, but he hath not given me over unto death. 
Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them and I will praise the Lord. This gate of the Lord into which the righteous shall enter. I will praise thee for thou hast heard me and art become my salvation. The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, send now prosperity. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. God is the Lord which hath shewed us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords, even unto the horns of the altar. Thou art my God, and I will praise thee. Thou art my God, I will extol thee. O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Psalm 119, Aleph Blessed are the undefiled in the way, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies, and that seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity, they walk in his ways. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. O oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments. I will praise thee with uprightness of heart when I shall have learned the righteous judgments. I will keep thy statutes. O oh, forsake me not utterly. But why withal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word? With my whole heart have I sought thee. O oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of thy mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies, as much as in all riches. I will meditate in thy precepts, and have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statutes. I will not forget thy word. Gimel, deal bountifully with thy servant, that I may live and keep thy word. Open thou mine eyes, that I may behold wondrous things out of the law. I am a stranger in the earth. Hide not thy commandments from me. My soul breaketh for the longing that it hath unto thy judgments at all times. Thou hast rebuked the proud that are cursed, which do ye from thy commandments. Remove from me reproach and contempt. For I have kept the testimonies. Princes also did sit and speak against me, but the servant did meditate in thy statutes. Thy testimonies also are my delight and my counselors. Daleth, my soul cleaveth unto the dust, quicken thou me according to thy word. I have declared my ways, and thou hadest me, teach me thy statutes. Make me to understand the way of thy precepts, so shall I talk of thy wondrous works. My soul melteth for heaviness, strengthen thou me according unto thy word. Remove from me the way of lying, and grant me thy law graciously. I have chosen the way of truth, thy judgments have I laid before me. I have stuck unto thy testimonies, O Lord, put me not to shame. I will run the way of thy commandments, when thou shalt enlarge my heart. Hey, teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I shall keep it unto the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yea, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Make me to go in the path of thy commandments, for therein do I delight. Incline my heart unto thy testimonies, and not to covetousness. Turn away mine eyes from beholding vanity, and quicken thou me in thy way. Establish thy word unto thy servant, who is devoted to thy fear. Turn away my reproach which I fear. For thy judgments are good. Behold, I have longed after thy precepts. Quicken me in thy righteousness. Wow! Let thy mercies come also unto me, O Lord, even thy salvation, according to thy word. So shall I have wherewith to answer him that reproacheth me. For I trust in thy word. And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth. For I have hoped in thy judgments. So shall I keep thy law continually for ever and ever, and I will walk at liberty, for I seek the preserves. I will speak of the testimonies also before kings, and I will not be ashamed. 
and I will delight myself in the commandments which I have loved. My hands also will I lift up unto the commandments which I have loved, and I will meditate in the statutes. Zain, remember the word unto thy servant upon which thou hast caused me to hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, for the word hath quickened me. The proud have heard me greatly in derision, yet have I not declined from thy law. I remember the judgments of old, O Lord, and have comforted myself. Horror hath taken hold upon me because of the wicked that forsake thy law. Thy statutes have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. I have remembered thy name, O Lord, in the night, and have kept thy law. This I heard because I kept thy preserves. Keth, thou art my portion, O Lord. I have said that I would keep thy words. I entreated thy favor with my whole heart. Be merciful unto me according to thy word. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. The bands of the wicked have robbed me, but I have not forgotten the law. At midnight I will rise to give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgments. I am a companion of all them that fear thee and of them that keep thy precepts. The earth, O Lord, is full of the mercy. Teach me thy statutes. Truth. Thou hast dealt well with thy servants, O Lord, according unto thy word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I have believed thy commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now have I kept thy word. Thou art good and doest good. Teach me thy statutes. The proud have forged a lie against me, but I will keep the preserves with my whole heart. Their heart is as fat as grace, but I delight in thy law. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. The law of thy mouth is better unto me than thousands of gold and silver. Job, Thy hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn thy commandments, that they fear thee will be glad when they see me, because I have hoped in thy word. I know, O Lord, that thy judgments are right, and that thou in faithfulness hast afflicted me. Let I pray thee, thy merciful kindness be for my comfort, according to thy word and to thy servant. Let thy tender mercies come unto me, that I may live, for thy law is my delight. Let the proud be ashamed, for they dealt perversely with me without your cause, but I will meditate in their preserves. Let those that fear thee turn unto me, and those that have known their testimonies. Let my heart be sound in their statutes, that I be not ashamed. Cap. My soul faineth for thy salvation, but I hope in thy word. Mine eyes fail for thy word, saying, When wilt thou comfort me? For I am become like a bottle in the smoke, yet do I not forget thy statutes. How many are the days of thy servant? When will thou execute judgment on them that persecute me? The proud have digged pits for me, which are not after thy law. All the commandments are faithful. They persecute me wrongfully. Help thou me. They had almost consumed me upon earth, but I forsook not their preserves. Quicken me after thy loving kindness, so shall I keep the testimony of thy mouth. Lamed, forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Thy faithfulness is unto all generations. Thou hast established the earth, and it abideth. They continue this day according to thine ordinances, for all are thy servants. Unless thy law had been my delights, I should then have perished in mine affliction. I never forget thy preserves, for with them thou hast quickened me. I am thine, save me, for I have sought thy preserves. The wicked have waited for me to destroy me, but I will consider thy testimonies. I have seen an end of all perfection, but thy commandment is exceeding broad. Ma'am, O oh, how love I thy law! It is my meditation all the day. Though through thy commandments has made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients, because I keep the preserves. I have refrained my feet from every evil way, that I might keep the word. I have not departed from the judgments, for thou hast taught me. How sweet are thy words unto my taste, 
ye sweeter than honey to my mouth through the precepts i get understanding therefore i hate every false way known thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path i have sworn and i will perform it that i will keep the righteous judgments i am afflicted very much quicken me o lord according unto thy word accept i beseech thee the free will offerings of my mouth o lord and teach me thy judgments my soul is continually in my hand yet do i not forget thy law the wicked have laid a snare for me yet i err not from thy precepts thy testimonies have i taken as an heritage forever for they are the rejoicing of my heart i have inclined my heart to perform the statutes always even unto the end same act. i hate vain thoughts but they law do i love do out my hiding place and my shield i hope in thy word depart from me ye evil doers for i will keep the commandments of my god uphold me according unto the word that i may live and let me not be ashamed of my hope hold thou me up and i shall be saved and i shall give respect unto thy statutes continually do has trodden down all them that err from thy statutes for their deceit is falsehood do put dust away all the wicked of the earth like dross therefore i love thy testimonies my flesh trembleth for fear of thee and i am afraid of thy judgments ayin i have done judgment and justice leave me not to my oppressors be surety for this servant for good let not the proud oppress me mine eyes fail for this salvation and for the word of the righteousness deal with the servant according unto thy mercy and teach me thy statutes i am the servant give me understanding that i may know thy testimonies it is time for the lord to work for they have made void the law therefore i love the commandments above gold yea above fine gold therefore i esteem all the precepts concerning all things to be right and i hate every false way pay thy testimonies are wonderful therefore that my soul keep them the entrance of the words giveth light it giveth understanding unto the simple i open my mouth and pant her for i long for thy commandments look thou upon me and be merciful unto me as thou usest to do unto those that love thy name order my steps in thy word and let not any iniquity have dominion over me deliver me from the oppression of man so will i keep thy precepts make thy face to shine upon thy servant and teach me thy statutes rivers of water run down my eyes because they keep not thy law zadi write us our do o lord and upright are thy judgments thy testimonies that thou hast commanded are right us and very faithful my zeal hath consumed me because my enemies have forgotten thy words thy word is very pure therefore thy servant loveth it i am small and despised yet do not i forget thy precepts thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and thy law is the truth trouble and anguish have taken hold on me yet the commandments are my delights the righteousness of the testimonies is everlasting give me understanding and i shall live cope i cried with my whole heart hear me o lord i will keep the statutes I cried unto thee say me and I shall keep thy testimonies I prevented the dawning of the morning and cried I hoped in thy word mine eyes prevented the night watches that I might meditate in thy word hear my voice according unto thy loving kindness o lord quicken me according to thy judgment they draw nigh that follow after mischief they are far from thy law thou art near o lord and all thy commandments are truth Concerning the testimonies I have known of all that thou hast founded them forever. Rish, consider my affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget thy law. Plead my cause and deliver me. Quicken me according to thy word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they seek not thy statutes. Great are the tender mercies, O Lord. Quicken me according to thy judgments. Many are my persecutors and my enemies. Yet do I not decline from thy testimonies. I beheld the transgressors and was grieved, because they kept not thy word. Consider how I love thy precepts. 
Quicken me, O Lord, according to thy loving kindness. Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. Shin, princes have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart standeth in awe of thy word. I rejoice at thy word as one that findeth great spoil. I hate and abhor lying, but thy law do I love. Seven times a day do I praise thee because of thy righteous judgments. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Lord, I have hoped for thy salvation, and done thy commandments. My soul hath kept thy testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. I have kept thy precepts and thy testimonies, for all my ways are before thee. Ta, let my cry come near before thee, O Lord. Give me understanding according to thy word. Let my supplication come before thee. Deliver me according to thy word. My lips shall utter praise when thou hast taught me the statutes. My tongue shall speak of the word, for thy commandments are righteousness. Let thine hand help me, for I have chosen the preserves. I have longed for thy salvation, O Lord, and thy law is my delight. Let my soul live, and it shall praise thee, and let thy judgments help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek thy servant, for I do not forget thy commandments. Psalm 120, a song of degrees. In my distress, I cried unto the Lord, and he heard me. Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips and from your deceitful tongue. What shall be given unto thee, or what shall be done unto thee, though false tongue? Sharp arrows of the mighty, with calls of juniper. Woe is me, that I sojourn in my sake, that I dwell in the tents of Kedar. My soul long dwelt with him that hated peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. Psalm 121, a song of degrees. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil, he shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even for evermore. Psalm 122 a song of degrees of David. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within the gates of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is builded as a city that is come back together, whither the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, and to the testimony of Israel, to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, they shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within thy walls, and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions' sake, I will now say, Peace be within thee. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. Psalm 123, a song of degrees. Unto thee lift I up mine eyes, O thou that dwellest in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of servants look unto the hand of their masters, and as the eyes of a maiden unto the hand of her mistress, so our eyes wait upon the Lord our God, until that He have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy upon us, for we are exceedingly filled with contempt. Our soul is exceedingly filled with the scorning of those that are at ease, and with the contempt of the proud. Psalm 124, a song of degrees of David. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick, when their wrath was kindled against us, then the waters had overwhelmed us, the stream had gone over our soul, then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord, who hath not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bat out of the snare of the fowlers. 
the snare is broken and we are escaped our help is in the name of the lord who made heaven and earth psalm 125 a song of degrees they that trust in the lord shall be as mount zion which cannot be removed but abideth forever as the mountains are round about jerusalem so the lord is round about his people from henceforth even forevermore for the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity do good o lord and to those that be good and to them that are upright in their hearts as for such as stand aside under the crooked ways the lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity but peace shall be upon israel psalm 126 a song of degrees when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like them that dream then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing then said they among the heathen the lord hath done great things for them the lord hath done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity o lord as the streams in the south they that sow in tears shall reap in joy he that goeth forth and weepeth bearing precious seed shall doubtless come again with rejoicing bringing his sheaves with him psalm 127 a song of degrees for solomon except the lord build the house they labor in vain that build it except the lord keep the city the watchman maketh but in vain it is vain for you to rise up early to sit up late to eat the bread of sorrows for so he giveth his beloved sleep lo children are an heritage of the lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward as arrows are in the hand of a mighty man so are children of the youth happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them they shall not be ashamed but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate psalm 128 a song of degrees blessed is every one that feareth the lord that walketh in his ways for thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands happy shalt thou be and it shall be well with thee thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thine house thy children like olive plants round about thy table behold that thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the lord the lord shall bless thee out of zion and thou shalt see the good of jerusalem all the days of thy life yea thou shalt see thy children's children and peace upon israel psalm 129 a song of degrees many a time have they afflicted me from my youth may israel now say many a time have they afflicted me from my youth yet they have not prevailed against me the plowers plowed upon my back they made long the furrows the lord is righteous he hath cut asunder the cords of the wicked let them all be confounded and turn back that hate zion let them be as the grass upon the house tops which withereth afore it groweth up wherewith the mower filleth not his hand nor he that bindeth sheaves his bosom neither do they which go by say the blessing of the lord be upon you we bless you in the name of the lord Psalm 130 a song of degrees out of the depths have i cried unto thee o lord lord hear my voice let then ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications if thou lord shouldest mark iniquities o lord who shall stand but there is forgiveness with thee that thou mayest be feared i wait for the lord my soul doth wait and in this word do i hope my soul waited for the lord more than they that watch for the morning i say more than they that watch for the morning let israel hope in the lord for in the lord there is mercy and with him is plenteous redemption and he shall redeem israel from all his iniquities psalm 131 yes song of degrees of david lord my heart is not haughty nor mine eyes lofty neither do i exercise myself in great matters or in things too high for me surely i have behaved and quieted myself as a child that is wind of his mother my soul is even as a wind child let israel hope in the lord from henceforth and forever 
Psalm 132 A Song of Degrees Lord, remember David and all his afflictions, how he swear unto the Lord and vowed unto the mighty God of Jacob, Surely I will not come into the tabernacle of my house, nor go up into my bed, I will not give sleep to mine eyes, nor slumber to mine eyelids, until I found out a place for the Lord and habitation for the mighty God of Jacob. Lo, we heard of it at Ephrathah. We found it in the fields of the world. We will go into his tabernacles. We will worship at his footstool. Arise, O Lord, into thy rest, thou and the ark of thy strength. Let thy priests be clothed with righteousness, and let the saints shout for joy. For thy servant David's sake, turn not away the face of thine anointed. The Lord has sworn in truth unto David, he will not turn from it. Of the fruit of the body will I set upon thy throne. If thy children will keep my covenant and my testimony that I shall teach them, their children shall also sit upon the throne forevermore. For the Lord hath chosen Zion, he hath desired it for his habitation. This is my rest forever, here will I dwell, for I have desired it. I will abundantly bless her provision. I will satisfy her poor with bread. I will also clothe her priest with salvation, and her saints shall shout aloud for joy. There will I make the horn of David to bird. I have ordained a lamp for men anointed. His enemies will I clothe with shame, but upon himself shall his crown flourish. Psalm 133 A Song of Degrees of David Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garments, as the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Psalm 134, A Song of Degrees Behold, bless ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, which by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary, and bless the Lord. The Lord that made heaven and earth, bless thee out of Zion. Psalm 135 Praise ye the Lord, praise ye the name of the Lord, praise him, O ye servants of the Lord. Ye that stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God, praise the Lord. For the Lord is good. Sing praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. For the Lord hath chosen Jacob unto himself, and Israel for his peculiar treasure. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. Whatsoever the Lord pleased, that did he in heaven, and in earth, in the seas, and all deep places. He causes the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He maketh lightnings for the rain. He bringeth the wind out of his treasuries. Who smote the first one of Egypt, both of man and beast. Who sent tokens and wonders in the midst of thee, O Egypt, upon Pharaoh and upon all his servants. Who smote great nations and slew mighty kings. Sihon, king of the Amorites, and O king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, and gave the land foreign heritage, and heritage unto Israel his people. Thy name, O Lord, endureth forever, and thy memorial, O Lord, throughout all generations. For the Lord will judge his people, and he will repent himself concerning his servants. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Neither is there any breath in their mouths. They that make them are like unto them. So is everyone that trusteth in them. Bless the Lord, O house of Israel. Bless the Lord, O house of Aaron. Bless the Lord, O house of Levi. Ye that fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord out of Zion, which dwelleth at Jerusalem. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 136 O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. O give thanks unto the God of gods, for his mercy endureth forever. O give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endureth forever. 
to him who alone doeth great wonders for his mercy endureth forever to him that by wisdom made the heavens for his mercy endureth forever to him that stretched out the earth above the waters for his mercy endureth forever to him that made great lights for his mercy endureth forever the sun to rule by day for his mercy endureth forever the moon and stars to rule by night for his mercy endureth forever to him that smote egypt in their first born for his mercy endureth forever and brought out israel from among them for his mercy endureth forever with a strong hand and with a stretched out arm for his mercy endureth forever to him which divided the red sea into parts for his mercy endureth forever and made israel to pass through the midst of it for his mercy endureth forever but overthrew pharaoh and his host in the red sea for his mercy endureth forever to him which led his people through the wilderness for his mercy endureth forever to him which smote great kings for his mercy endureth forever and slew famous kings for his mercy endureth forever sihon king of the amorites for his mercy endureth forever and wog the king of bashan for his mercy endureth forever and gave their land for an heritage for his mercy endureth forever even an heritage unto israel his servant for his mercy endureth forever who remembered us in our low estate for his mercy endureth forever and hath redeemed us from our enemies for his mercy endureth forever who giveth food to all flesh for his mercy endureth forever who give thanks unto the god of heaven for his mercy endureth forever psalm 137 by the rivers of babylon there we sat down yea we wept when we remembered zion we hanged our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof for there they carried us away captive record of us a song and they that wasted us record of us mirth saying sing us one of the songs of zion how shall we sing the lord's song in a strange land if i forget the o jerusalem let my right hand forget her cunning if i do not remember thee let me turn clear to the roof of my mouth if i prefer not jerusalem above my chief joy Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth the little ones against the stones. Psalm 138, a Psalm of David. I will praise thee with my whole heart before the gods will I sing praise unto thee I will worship toward the holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth for thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name in the day when I cried thou answerest me and strengthenest me with strength in my soul all the kings of the earth shall praise thee O Lord when they hear the words of the mouth Yea, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, yet hath he respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar off. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the breath of mine enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of their own hands. Psalm 139 To the chief musician, a psalm of David. O Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my downsetting and men uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou canvasest my path and my lying down and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it altogether. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid thine hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, I cannot attain unto it. Whither shall I go from thy spirit, or whither shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. 
If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost part of the sea, even there shall they hand lead me, and the right hand shall hold me. If I say, Surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. For thou hast possessed my reins, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret, and curiously brought in the lower parts of the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect. And in thy book all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they are more than a number than the sun. When I awake, I am still with thee. Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O God! Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men! For they speak against the wickedly, and the enemies take thy name in vain. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee, and am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred, I count them mine enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart, try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Psalm 140 To the chief musician, a psalm of David. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man which imagine mischiefs in their heart. Continually are they gathered together for war. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Elder poison is under their lips. Selah. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent man who have purpose to overthrow my goings. The proud have hid a snare for me on cords. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set gins for me, Selah. I said unto the Lord, Thou art my God, hear the voice of my supplications, O Lord. O God the Lord, the strength of my salvation, Thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked, further not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves. Selah. As for the head of those that canvass me about, let the mischief of their own lips cover them. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits, that they rise not up again. Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. Evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and the right of the poor. Surely the writer shall give thanks unto thy name, the upright shall dwell in thy presence. Psalm 141, a psalm of David. Lord, I cry unto thee, make haste unto me, give ear unto my voice when I cry unto thee. Let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense, and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. Incline not my heart to any evil thing to practice wicked works with men that work iniquity, and let me not eat of their dainties. Let the righteous smite me, it shall be a kindness, and let him reprove me, it shall be an excellent oil which shall not break my heart, for yet my prayers also shall be in their calamities. When their judges are overthrown in stony places, they shall hear my words. For they are sweet. Our bones are scattered at the grave's mouth, as when one cutteth and cleaveth wood upon the earth. But mine eyes are unto thee, O God the Lord. In thee is my trust. Leave not my soul destitute. Keep me from the snares which they have laid for me, and the gins of the workers of iniquity. Let the wicked fall in their own nets, whilst that I withal escape. Psalm 142 Must kill up David, a prayer when he was in the cave. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, with my voice unto the Lord did I make my supplication. I poured out my complaint before him, I shewed before him my trouble. 
when my spirit was overwhelmed within me then do nears me part in the way wherein i walked have they privily laid a snare for me i looked on when i turned and beheld but there was no man that would know me refuge failed me no man cared for my soul i cried unto the o lord i said thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living attend unto my cry for i am brought very low deliver me from my persecutors for they are stronger than i bring my soul out of prison that i may praise the name the writer shall canvass me about for thou shalt deal bountifully with me psalm 143 yes psalm of david hear my prayer o lord give ear to my supplications in thy faithfulness answer me and in thy righteousness and enter not into judgment with thy servant for in thy sight shall no man living be justified For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath smitten my life down to the ground, he hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all the works, I muse on the work of the hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth after thee as a thirsty land. Selah. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear the loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from mine enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will. For thou art my God, the Spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake. For thy righteousness' sake, bring my soul out of trouble. And of thy mercy, cut off my enemies, and destroy all of them that afflict my soul. For I am thy servant. Psalm 144, a Psalm of David. Blessed be the Lord my strength, which teacheth my hands to war, and my fingers to fight, my goodness and my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer, my shield, and he in whom I trust, who subdueth my people under me. Lord, what is man that thou takest knowledge of him, or the son of man that thou makest account of him? Man is like to vanity, his days are as a shadow that passeth away. Bow the heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Cast forth lightning, and scatter them. Shoot out thin arrows, and destroy them. Send thine hand from above. Rid me, and deliver me out of great waters, from the hands of strange children, whose mouth speak vanity, and their right hand is a hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song unto thee, O God. Upon a psaltery and an instrument of ten strings will I sing praises unto thee. It is he that giveth salvation unto kings, who delivereth David his servant from the hurtful sword. Rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children, whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is a hand of falsehood, that our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth, that our daughters may be as cornerstones, polished after the similitude of a palace, that our gardeners may be full, affording all manner of store, that our sheep may bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our street, that our oxen may be strong to labor, that there be no breaking in nor going out, that there be no complaining in our streets. Happy is that people that is in such a case, yea, happy is that people whose God is the Lord. Psalm 145, David's Psalm of Praise I will extol thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise the works of another, and shall declare thy mighty acts. I will speak of the glorious honor of the majesty and of the wondrous works. And men shall speak of the might of the terrible acts, and I will declare their greatness. 
they shall abundantly utter the memory of their great goodness and shall sing of their righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all, and His tender mercies are over all His works. All the works shall praise Thee, O Lord, and their saints shall bless Thee. They shall speak of the glory of the kingdom and talk of the power to make known to the sons of men His mighty acts and the glorious majesty of His kingdom. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and thy dominion endureth throughout all generations. The Lord upholdeth all that fall, and raiseth up all those that be bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon thee, and thou givest them their meat in due season. Thou openest in hand, and satisfiest the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, and holy in all his works. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. The Lord preserveth all them that love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord, and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Psalm 146 Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, will I praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. His breath goeth forth, he returneth to his earth. In that very day his thoughts perish. Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God, which made heaven and earth, the sea and all that therein is, which keepeth truth forever, which executeth judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry. The Lord looseth the prisoners, the Lord openeth the eyes of the blind, the Lord raiseth them that are bowed down, the Lord loveth the righteous, the Lord preserveth the strangers, he relieveth the fatherless and widow, but the way of the wicked he turneth upside down. The Lord shall reign forever, even thy God, O Zion, unto all generations. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 147 Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises unto our God, for it is pleasant and praise is comely. The Lord doth build up Jerusalem. He gathereth together the outcast of Israel. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. He telleth the numbers of the stars. He calleth them all by their names. Great is our Lord and of great power. His understanding is infinite. The Lord lifteth up the maid. He casteth the wicked down to the ground. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praise upon the harp unto our God, who covereth the heaven with clouds, who prepareth rain for the earth, who maketh grass to grow upon the mountains. He giveth to the beast his food, and to the young ravens which cry. He delighteth not in the strength of the horse. He taketh not pleasure in the legs of a man. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him, in those that hope in his mercy. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise thy God, O Zion. For he hath strengthened the bars of the gates. He hath blessed the children within thee. He maketh peace in thy borders, and filleth thee with the finest of the wheat. He sendeth forth his commandment upon the earth. His word runneth very swiftly. He giveth snow like wool. He scattereth the hoar frost like ashes. He casteth forth his eyes like morsels. Who can stand before his cold? He sendeth out his word and melteth them. He causeth his wind to blow and the waters flow. He sheeth his word unto Jacob his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise the Lord. Psalm 148 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him all his angels. Praise him all his hosts. Praise him sun and moon. Praise him all ye stars of light. Praise him, ye heavens of heavens, and ye waters that be above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, 
for he commanded and they were created. He hath also established them for ever and ever. He hath made a decree which shall not pass. Praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and vapor, stormy wind fulfilling his word, mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl, kings of the earth and all people, princes and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children, let them praise the name of the Lord. For his name alone is excellent, his glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 149 Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise in the congregation of saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with a timbrel and horn. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their birds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment return. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 150 Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and horn. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord.